Hey viewers, what's up? Uh, I know we're here. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take ownership of any file, your, basically your system files only, and um, have be granted special permissions without going through all the hassle. So basically, I want to start off with apologizing because of this long video delay. I have been doing a lot of school shopping and um, getting ready for school. school um it's starting september 2nd so you know have to get ready for all that and that's next thursday which is exactly a week from now so i have a lot of stuff coming up so i might not make a tutorial until next week but anyways um this tutorial is basically going to show you guys how to edit your registry in order to be granted special permissions in um system files so basically if you know what i'm saying i'm going to give you a perfect perfect example on the only reason you would need to do this so you guys see i have this cool theme and um basically it's just a nice theme and if i was to open up my documents or a matter of fact i don't want to show you guys that let me sh um show you guys my computer you'll see that it'll have a different um explorer frame where it, it looks pretty different now in in order to change this in a theme and most themes would come with um the explorer that i think it's called the extended frame dll um you'll have to have special permissions granted in order to replace the original file now with this registry tweak you'll be basically able to do that with a right click now um you're gonna have the zip file and i'm gonna upload it to mediafire so just download it um no viruses nothing just so all you want to do is you want to right click and you want to select extract here you're going to have two registry files and basically you're going to have one to install and one to remove so to install you just want to double click it and you'll have this um error telling you that are you sure you want to uh, install this registry tweak and basically i'm gonna select no because i really did this let's get rid of these files so anytime you want to mess with your system 32, you want to edit it or rearrange some stuff or even replace some stuff, I recommend making a system restore point or backing up your computer to an external hard drive because sometimes you can have failure and something could happen. So I really recommend backing up anything you're going to replace. So um, if you were to mess it up, or something like that I'm not responsible for I'm just letting you guys know how you can take um, ownership with special permissions but basically just to go on with the tutorial um, I already replaced my extended frame DLL file by right clicking and taking ownership now you're asking me oh well I have two take ownerships here one is the windows based one which was does not give you special permissions and the other one does and I can basically show you guys how to tear them apart the one with the badge next to it is basically the administrative one and that is the windows one so you just want to select take ownership without the badge the um where it says take ownership and you see there's no badge here that's the one you want to select to be granted special permissions but like i said you should only be using this while you're messing with system files so basically i'm going to show you guys an example so if i go to my computer i'm trying to go fast because i don't really want you guys to see my information sorry windows and system 32 okay so if i go to my documents and i'm going to replace this okay it's called the explorer frame dll now the only reason i would want to replace this is because you see i have a different theme here um different boxes and whatnot it has it, it basically a different explorer frame and um I want to replace it to the original one so in order to do this I'm gonna have I need to be granted special permissions so you see I'm gonna show you what would happen if I don't have them granted so if I select move and replace it'll, I'll have an error it say access denied you need permission to perform this action now I'm gonna show you how to have pres special permissions so basically um, you want to do this on the actual folder or the folder that you're messing with or editing you don't want to do it on the actual DLL 
So you want to right click, remember the one you want to select, take ownership without the badge. Select that and your CMD will open up and nothing's happening, you're not getting no type of hack or anything. It's just basically saying that if you can, you can read it, it'll say it's successful, the file or folder, and then it'll state the name, and it'll say it's now owned um, by an administrator user, and it will say your name or whatever your PC's name is. Now, um, it's basically, it looks like it's spamming, it's because the system 32 folder, very big, so um if you get once again if you guys think this is some type of hack i'm showing you guys in real time no type of hack it'll just say um that it's a success and let this go on shouldn't take it that long okay and it's done now if i go back into my system 32 folder and if i try one more time move her in place then it'll say that um x is denied now i want to let you guys know that sometimes this works and sometimes it's other it doesn't so um you can't rely on a one-time thing but um obviously failed in this tutorial but you will have special permissions granted so don't hold back and um, you'll be able to do everything normal so basically you just want to you know set up your registry edit and if this doesn't work i suggest removing it and reinstalling it nothing simple and you'll be ready to go so this is the uh, normal extended frame and i'll just replace it later on so everything will be back to normal but anyways that's the end of the tutorial go ahead and download the it's called the take ownership zip and extract it to your desktop desktop install it and you'll be ready to go so thank you guys for watching this once again, I'm not responsible for anything that does happen to your computer, and have a good day.